My name is Garum. I am living in hell, surrounded by devils. I have been an outcast since my birth. My parents argue all the time. When my dad isn't drunk and beating me up, it's usually my mom giving me the, all the beatings. They put poker faces in front of the police when they come due to noise complaint, which happens a lot. School isn't any better. I am treated like crap at school, and the teachers don't do a goddamn thing about it. Out of all the problems I have, getting bullied was the worst, especially from them. Nick, Brandon, and Kevin. Those three had beaten, mugged, and called me names for as long as I can remember. We went to kindergarten the high school we are in right now we haven't trans why haven't I transferred you asked because like I said above my parents don't give a fuck about me even after I told them about my problems multiple times the school officer gets annoyed by my frequent visits and I don't go there anymore since they don't de want to deal with me I am scared to create any social pages right now, because those three might torture me there. It was the same thing repeating every day, wake up, see my parents who don't care, go to school, get bullied, come home, and get depressed about it. I always carried the pocket knife with me, and figured it was time to commit suicide and end all of this, until I met her. Her name was Samantha. She was the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. She had just transferred here and was assigned to seat next to me. I thought she wouldn't want to talk to a loser like me, so I didn't talk to her at first, even though I really I wanted to badly. But it turned out that she would be the one to talk to me first. Hi, I'm Sam. What's your name? She asked. This was the first time in many years someone talked to me that way. I couldn't believe this was happening. Um, it's Graham, but you don't want to talk to me. What am I saying? Turning down an opportunity like this? Why not? I don't know anyone, and I wanted to start with you. She replied. And so, we became really close after that. We ate lunches together, told jokes, shared stories, studied for tests, and much more. She was the first one. She was the first one to reach out to me. Even now, and then I caught myself tearing up. Was this reality? Was it in a dream? I pinched myself to check. But she, she's always there beside me, smiling. We became more than friends. We loved each other. But she was the only good thing about my life. I was still getting bullied and beaten up by those three. Nick, Brandon, and Kevin. It was another day of beating. They were kicking me down. To the ground. I curled up, trying to erase the pain, ease the pain. That wouldn't go away. There they are, officer. Get them. I heard a shout from a familiar voice. It was no doubt Samantha. I heard footsteps running, eventually fading into the distance. I saw Sam, hands reaching out to me. I grabbed it and helped her up. And she helped me up to stand on my feet. Pieces of shit. Picking on someone in a, as a group, it's not right. She said angrily. Look, Sam, I know what you're doing, you're trying to do, I said. But you shouldn't get involved. I don't want to see you hurt. I don't care, Graham. I love you. And I want to protect you, she said. And protect she did. Every time I was getting picked on or beaten, she always came to my rescue. I honestly thought she was an angel sent to make my life better. A couple of days later, 
I was getting beaten up. He was more vicious this time. This was kicking, punching, batting, and pulverizing me. Stop that! I heard Sam from somewhere. Oh look, if it isn't Joan of Arc coming to the rescue, said Nick. Stop right now or I'll call the police on you guys again, she yelled. No you won't, replied Nick mockingly. I heard a set of movements grab her. I wanted to get up, but I couldn't. The pain was too much. Let me go, she said, with a little fear in her voice. We are tired of you, bitch, interrupting our little fun. We are going to teach you a lesson you won't forget, Nick said with an evil chuckle. My eyes were not open from the bruises. I heard Sam crying while, Sa while Nick grunted and breathed heavy. Brandon and Kevin were smirking from what I heard. After about 10 minutes, I heard Nick stop grunting. Did you guys get all of that? Yeah, we got it all on camera, said Brandon. Piece of shit wanted, we wanted a turn. We were holding back really bad. Doesn't matter now, said Nick. We got the blackmail. We let her. So let's say you're trying to stop us now. I heard them walk away with laughter. I could finally open my eyes now. I saw Sam crying in the corner. I got all my strength together to walk over to her. I got her in my arms. We cried together in the corner for as long as I could remember. I felt really bad and sorry for her to get hurt like that. We got up and walked home together since our ha houses weren't that far from each other. At that point, where we had to split, we said our farewell. Sam, I am here with you, for you. Always remember that. I told her while holding her hands. Okay. She replied very weakly. I saw her get farther and farther away from me. Then she turned the corner and was out of my sight. The next day, the school was in an unusual move, mood, like something happened. Then there was a morning announcement. Students, we have grave news. Our friend, Samantha Helen, has committed suicide. What did I just hear? She's dead? Gone? Forever? One of the girls whispered to another. Oh, I heard she did it because she was trying to help that loser over there. It was my fault. I brought her into my life. I was the reason she was dead. I was in agony all day at school. On my way home, Nick came it up to me. Aww. Are you hurt because she was the only one? She was the only way you could stand up? Did you enjoy it while I fucked your girl? I finally was at my limit. I took out the pocket watch, and before he could react, I slit his throat. He fell to the ground and gagged. I took the cell phone out of his pocket and called Brandon. How'd you get? Yo, Nick, where are you? said Brandon over the phone. We've been waiting for you here for five mi- Nick? Oh, he's right here. And he's bleeding out next to me, I told him. How'd you get his phone? And what the fuck are you talking about, said Brandon. I suggest you come over here and find out. He's losing a lot of blood. I hung up the phone and crunched it to smithereens. When they get here, I'll make them join Nick. I understood, f I finally understood why I couldn't, why couldn't I see this before? If I couldn't endure the tortures from the devils, all I needed to do was to become a devil myself. Thank you, Samantha. You showed me exactly what I needed to do. I will bear my claws into all those who wrong me, all in your name.